Hi guys, today we are going to cover how to use Path of Building to scientifically find the best gear upgrades on the market for your specific budget. This guide is specifically for rares, especially your weapon, shield, and amulet. Some of your friends might already be using Path of Building to purchase weapons, but do they know that damage over time and non-damage over time builds require different configurations? Purchasing a weapon upgrade is not an easy task. There are many beneficial modifiers and the trade market is dynamic. Today, we will use the scientific method where we will use powerful building to perform a calculus of the different weights that affect your DPS to find the best weapon on the market. To start, we need Path of Building. The link is in the description below. If you are following a guide, you can start with the guide POB and load your character over it. Otherwise, you may need to create a new POB. To load your character, click on Import Export Build. Key in your account name and load. Next, we want to update the Configurations tab for your build. If you are loading your character over your guide's POB, you might not need to change anything at all. Next, go to Skills and select the skills that are relevant for your DPS. For Codot, you want to select Creeping Frost, Vortex, and Cold Snap. Next, click on Items. Click on Trade for these items. Select your lead. Click on Adjust Search Weights. This is the important part where many players get it wrong. If you are a DOT build, you want to set the weights for everything to zero and DOT DPS to the maximum. If you are not a DOT build, then you want to set the full DPS to maximum and everything else to zero. Click on Find Best and press Execute. Control click the link to open in web browser. And we are almost done. What POB has done is that it has assigned weights to each modifier based on the current state of your character. The larger the sum weight figure, the more beneficial the item is for your character. Therefore, you want to key in your budget and sort the items by the larger sum weight. To check the DPS boost for your character, you can click copy this item and paste it into your POB. Press Ctrl V to paste the item here and the increase in duty DPS will be indicated here. As we can see, purchasing this item will increase your duty DPS by 8.2%. This is the best weapon on the server for the 4 divine budget. We can replicate the same for our shield. For non-weapon items, you may want to add other stat requirements, such as minimum life. We will click on this add stat group and key in the defensive stats that we want. This is the best shield on the server for our DPS with the 100 life requirement. We can also set our budget accordingly. And this is the best shield on the server within our 5 divine budget. As my current shield is quite strong, purchasing this shield will only provide a 1.8% DOT DPS increase. These concepts can be applied for any item, even for boots and amulet. Now, I'll demonstrate how we can use POB to help us find the best amulet for our DPS. Between items that have similar weight, consider the potential modifications options, such as open prefix or suffix, 
and whether the amulet has a anointment already included. Let's add in our own anointment. As we can see, purchasing this amulet will increase my duty DPS by 26.5%. You can also use this method for other spell-based builds such as Righteous Fire and Spark. However, please note that POB is unable to calculate accurately for DPS-based weapons such as bows or claws. If you are a caster, there is no issue. I hope you learned something today. Do share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more PoE tips.